Michigan DNR and other groups have been working for a few years to curb the spread of an invasive insect eating away at our trees. The hemlock woolly adelgid has the capability to wipe out thousands of trees, but right now is the best time for crews to go out and survey where these nasty insects are and save our trees. 13 on your side, Elena Holland explains. This microscopic insect. You'll never see the adelgid unless you've got a microscope and really focus in on it. Has the ability to destroy the West Michigan forest landscape. The ramifications of that within the state are pretty severe. That's Heidi Fry, <laughs> the forest health specialist with the DNR. She says the hemlock woolly adelgid hook onto the hemlock tree with a piercing mouth part, tapping into its vascular system, sucking the life out of the tree. Some of these places that really are at risk are places like PJ Hoffman Master State Park, um, places like Ludington State Park, places that are truly um, iconic within uh, the state of Michigan, Sagatuck Dunes. There is a statewide coordinated effort to identify and treat infected trees. Right now is the optimal time for teams to survey as the adelgid are fixed to the tree, producing eggs, but none are hatching and expanding. Treatment involves a chemical that taps into the tree's vascular system. And then the adelgids, as they're feeding, they will feed on that and um, that will cause um, their death instead of tree death. The hemlock woolly adelgid have not been found further north North than the Ludington area for now, and hopefully it stays that way. Right now, um, we're looking at it as kind of a game of containment. But these small insects can travel. They can hitch a ride on, say, a bird or a squirrel or deer or even the wind or a backpack or a fleece. Frey says while you can't see the adelgid itself, you can see the egg sacs on the tree. It's important to look out for them so you don't help them spread. We're treating a lot of, a lot of trees and protecting a lot of trees in, in the meantime. So um, there's, there is certainly a reduction in the amount of adelgids out there had we have done nothing. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.